I would say that food price volatility matters uh, particularly for poor households um, in developing countries who consume or who know who spend a huge amount of their income on food um, and therefore when the food price goes up uh, they really have no extra money with which to uh, buy food without sacrificing other vital expenditures uh, and therefore they're very poorly equipped to cope, particularly with price spikes. Um, you could argue that for producers low prices are also bad, but I would emphasise the consumers and the problems of high prices. At today's workshop we've looked particularly at the impact of financial markets on food markets uh, and the concern has been the extent to which changes in financial markets, various forms of deregulation and technology change have enabled spillovers from financial markets to influence food markets, so money coming into food markets which really have nothing to do with the supply and demand of food. Um, and one of the big debates today has been on whether there should be certain forms of regulation of financial flows into commodity markets and what they call position limits on how much any particular player in a market uh, can invest in a, in a commodity market at any given point in time. There's a case for those forms of uh, new or re-regulation of these markets. Um, but there is loads to do also in uh, how the fundamentals of food markets work and making supply more responsive to prices and informing particularly poor households of what trends are likely to be so they're better uh, able to uh, respond to not just past changes in prices but trends that are likely to come in the future.